Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Let's return now to the Iron Oak. So, there is a reason why I make these funny little models. You know, it's, it's not for decoration. I'm able to take measurements from every little thing, you know, every little detail, and I'm able to reincorporate it back into, into the piece itself. It's really handy to have. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I love puzzles. I'm pretty good at them too, and I like to create them. And this, my friends, is nothing but just a big old puzzle of of different angles and organic shapes, but some very flat, very right angled materials. So number one was getting that hub in place the way I have it here, directly over the base here. That was number one. Everything else between could just be gravy. So I like to over-engineer everything. You know, I'm doing three-quarter inch grade eight bolts that, um, that you know, attach this whole thing together because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be sleeping in bed and just have that terrible sneaking suspicion that, oh, one of the limbs just, one of the limbs just fell off. No, no, no. I want this to be truly impossible to take down. A thousand years from now, they'll have to jackhammer the thing apart. It's gonna be great.
Now, the most difficult part of this little hub section there was you have three very different pitches coming together at different angles, but each one had to be perfectly vertical and level all at the same time. Now, I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's both organic and linear all at the same time, but trust me, it was quite difficult. When it comes to trial and error on getting all of your angles just right, it's a lot better and cheaper and faster to do things with cardboard than it is to cut your piece of steel then keep making adjustments on it. Make it out of cardboard, and then once you got it right, then you got your stencil, boom, you're off to the races. Now, one of the most important parts, as I said, for this entire step was to get the hub where all of the limbs come together directly over the base. That was extremely important because if I have that base counter levered over, even by a couple inches, could prove disastrous if a storm ever hit or anything like that. It need to be nice and centered. And classic plumb bobs just work perfectly. Now, if you're unfamiliar with a plumb bob, it is just a weight on the other end of a string that tells you exactly what true level is from one point down to the other. Now that we have the limb hub centered over the, over the base plate there is, I'm anticipating and I cannot wait to start forging big old iron bars to then connect the base up to the hub. And it's gonna be really difficult at first because it's only gonna be just one bar holding this whole stinking thing together. But piece by piece, I'll put it all together and slowly create a trunk. I'm so looking forward to emanate nature and how wood likes to grow and twist and move around in bizarre shapes, but that's steel. I cannot wait, and I cannot wait to take you on the journey with me. And as always, my friends, thank you for watching.